Hey everybody, Ryan the Anvil here. Thanks for watching. Uh, right off the bat, I want to tell you this is not a tutorial, not a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make a knife sheath. However, I had some photos and some videos of when I made this knife sheath last week, and I just wanted to share it with you, that's all. So please don't rate this as a tutorial. So uh, there's some video here, so I'm going to shut up and let you listen. Uh, to the rest of this. Uh, big thanks to Chris Leck, a customer of mine, for gifting me this Nimley Cleaver. Okay, uh, working on a sheath, custom sheath, for a knife that was recently gifted to me from a customer, uh, Mr. Chris Leck. Thank you very much. And uh, right now I'm just staining the, uh, the border, the perimeter of the front of the sheath. Uh, this is number 99 of 100 Nimley cleavers made, so I put the same thing on the sheath. The, uh, the back side of the sheath will have a uh, uh, belt loop or a belt to, to loop your belt through. As you see, it's four layers thick. It's going to be a beefy sheath. Thanks, Chris. Okay, so I just uh, gave the, the edges a nice sanding down. There's your, uh, there's our opening. Why, ah, come on. Get in focus. Coming together nicely. Okay, mm-hmm, here we are, uh, it's, bes I'm, I have not stained it yet, I've got uh, some tan stain, antique paste, to get in there, and uh, then a, another wax and seal, but man, oh man, this was fun, this, this got me to thinking, uh, Four layers of 12 ounce veg tan. That is a beefy sheath, uh, but would you expect any less than this beefy sheath to go with this unbefreaking leavable Nimley Cleaver by something? Okay, we got some paste. We got some paste. And uh, I applied it to the to the basket weave, my beautiful little hibiscus flower basket weave. That is, you're welcome. And uh, the sheath uh, for the Nimley cleaver is coming together really well. You can see the difference in color there, where the antique paste is along the uh, beveled edge, and then. I will wax the rest of the uh, exposed edge, AKA, also known as a cobbler's edge. Four layers of 12 ounce, grade A, number one, USDA Angus beef cowhide. I think they're gonna go good together, I really do. What's up guys, I'm done. So I just finished uh, the knife sheath for this Nimley cleaver. And uh, I wanted to start this by saying thank you once again to Chris Leck, uh, who's tagged below uh, for gifting me this Nimley cleaver, number 99 of 100. And uh, I am making Chris a sheath as well, uh, out of different uh, leather, of course. But I uh, wanted to go ahead and show you all the final uh, product of the sheath that I made today. Uh, the basket weaving is a hibiscus flower basket weave. Uh, I don't know if this is focusing or not, but uh, it's got uh, 0.925 genuine silver snap uh, with the anvil insignia on it. It is four layers of 12 ounce grade A cowhide. Uh, it has a pocket 
we'll unsnap this. So I'll show you the, the actual pocket for the blade is right there and with another layer below it uh, that functions as the belt loop, if you will. So your belt enters, goes through and exits and it's worn uh, right on the waist. So it's worn horizontally so that all you do, all you wanna do is just flick, give it a flick of the wrist, if you will, at any rate. And uh, boy, it's, I got it nice and tight and it feels really good. Just, just snug enough to keep it in there. But uh, here it is, so what do y'all think? Let me know what you think in the comments, okay? Thanks for looking, guys. <laughs> I now realize how repetitive I sound through those videos, and I apologize about that, but, you know, truly, I just wanted to show you all uh, the, the, the process of what I went through just putting together this rather simple, really simple design for a sheath. It might look elaborate to some from what the feedback I'm getting from uh, from you all, but really a simple design. I loved making this. I do not make these very often, but I think I might start offering uh, them on a one-off basis. Uh, so uh, what'd you think? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Either way, would you let me know in the comments and uh, have a great one, you all. I hope uh, hope everyone's doing well.